Pittsburgh. Tonight, a candidate for a Georgetown Township trustee says that she respects and is proud to have shared the stage at rallies this year with two of the men charged in the plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer. Marisa Oberlay joining us live from the newsroom after talking with her this evening. Marisa. Yeah, Derek Dennis, Catherine Henry first made those remarks at a Second Amendment candidate forum this past weekend in Fowlerville, but reiterated her stance in an interview with me today. Are you proud to have stood on stage with the Null brothers at rallies throughout the summer? Are, you know, do you respect them? And if so, can you explain why? Absolutely. Um, these two guys, as well as countless other different militia members all across the state, they have stood up um, in, you know, volunteering their time to keep people like me safe. Georgetown Township trustee candidate Catherine Henry standing by William and Michael Null Tuesday. The Republican hopeful defending the two West Michigan brothers charged with providing support for terroristic acts and felony weapons charges in connection with an alleged plot to kidnap the governor. These guys are kind. Uh, they're caring. They are uh, advocates for the Constitution. Henry says she met the two at rallies across the state throughout the summer, like this one in Grand Rapids in May, explaining they provided protection to her and other speakers at the events. Every single time I've seen th these two particular guys, I can breathe a sigh of relief that they're there to, you know, help keep things uh, on the up and up and to provide a defensive kind of protection if necessary. Henry questions the charges brought forth last week, saying the brothers never spoke about anything questionable around her, adding the alleged attack never happened. These guys didn't do it, uh, at least the two that I, I know of. Um, their only crimes were literally being members of a militia and uh, owning a lot of firearms. She instead places the blame on elected leaders in the state and others who condemned the men's actions. But what they are doing is essentially assuming that these guys are guilty until proven innocent. We have a duty to uphold the Constitution. That means that presumption of innocence. That means the due process of law elements. Do you understand why people may be speaking out and condemning you know, this violence that they were allegedly planning? About. No, I think no, I think that's stupidity. I think that's blind, uh, ignorant stupidity. Henry saying as a constitutional lawyer, it's her job to ensure the rights protected in it. People are up in arms over the potential violence or alleged uh, potential violence. Where are all the people upset and up in arms that our constitutionally protected liberties are being tossed out the window? Now, like mentioned, Henry is running for an elected position in Georgetown Township this year. She is one of six people vying for four trustee positions. When asked if she thinks her stance would impact her race, Henry told me if someone doesn't like the Constitution, they should not vote for her, and that is okay. I'm reporting live in the newsroom, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.